of the class of 2023. Today marks the completion of your students, family members, or friends journey through high school. On behalf of the student body, I thank you all for your gracious support along the way and welcome you to our graduation. At this time, please stand and welcome the class of 2023.
welcome to the podium, Principal John Thanos. Good evening, Charger family, and welcome to our celebration of the class of 2023. I'm John Thanos, and I'm so very fortunate to be the principal at Chatfield Senior High School. I have had the unbelievable privilege of getting to know and getting to serve this fantastic class. In fact, I was fortunate enough to be their freshman administrator when we started together four years ago in the fall of 2019. And I'm so excited to be standing here today as we take an opportunity to celebrate them and all they've accomplished. Boy, do they deserve it. At this time, I would like to recognize a few groups of people who deserve all the recognition they can get. Will all of our students who plan to join the military please rise, as well as any current and retired members of our armed services. We thank you so much for your service to our nation and for allowing us to do what we do every day. Would our incredible Chatfield faculty and staff stand and be recognized? I'm so fortunate to get to work for such a dedicated, positive, loving, and fun group of individuals. What you have all put in and accomplished in educating and supporting this particular class over these last four years has been nothing short of a resounding success. And I'm genuinely so proud of each and every one of you. I am so blessed to be able to call you colleagues and friends and watch you work with our Chargers every day. I'd like to recognize a few of our colleagues who are retiring this year. Technology coordinator and math teacher Jim Bartuska. Science teacher, Cheryl Beaton. Principal secretary, Jennifer Gillespie. Science teacher, Rock Powell. Instructional coach and math teacher, Sandy Valerio. And our community superintendent, Mr. Scott Allensworth. Y'all are, right. are awesome, and congratulations. Good luck in retirement. Now for the reason we are all here, to celebrate the Chatfield Senior High Class of 2023. Whew. Chargers, what a crazy four years we've had together. Y'all survived a regular start to freshman year, complete with the ceremonial booing of the freshman class at assemblies when they can't finish a lyric properly. <laughs> then, you, then you were launched into a seemingly never-ending, unpredictable cycle of remote learning without even a bell schedule or administrators or teachers that knew what remote learning was. Hybrid learning, and I'm pretty sure we made that term up about a month before your sophomore year started. Remote learning with a bell schedule but where you had to find the Meet link every hour on Zoom or Google Meet or wherever they, had, they may have lived on the interwebs, all on a Chromebook that was definitely not built to support whatever it was we were doing. <laughs> times, times were unpredictable, all right, and unpredictable is an understatement. Through all of that unpredictability, I've not just seen you survive, but I've seen you thrive. That's enough unpredictability to wade through in a lifetime, and you have all pulled it off and are standing strong right here, all of 18 years old. Be proud. Be proud of what you've accomplished through those tough times. But don't just be proud of making it through those times. Be proud of how you have emerged and what you have become, both collectively and individually. Most of the adults here today will tell you that it was how they navigated the times of uncertainty and the unpredictable challenges that life throws your way that has made them who they are today. I am here to tell you, Chatfield Class of 2023, that we have all watched very closely how you have emerged from your times of uncertainty and unpredictability, and you all have crushed it. Over the last year and a half, after a return to normal, I have seen this group thrive in ways that were beyond our wildest dreams four years ago. During this time, you've proven to be smart and talented, and kind and empathetic, adaptable and tough. 
You proved you were smart and talented by doing things like achieving the highest average SAT score of any large high school in the area. And they know I love that one. Winning six athletic state championships. We hadn't won one in a decade before you all arrived, and then boom, six in four years. By blowing away our community any time you took the stage, by completing internships, earning over $2 million in scholarship money, and by saving your parents over a million dollars through AP and concurrent enrollment classes. By, criti by critically thinking whenever we asked you to, by dreaming about how you'll take on the world, and by inspiring our staff to be the best we could be when times got tough. You are an incredibly smart and talented group of individuals. You prove that you are kind and empathetic, in big and small ways. Your kindness and empathy was shown in big ways, like helping to break our record for the most money Chatfield Senior High has raised for the Make-A-Wish Foundation during Wish Week, not once, but twice. 27,000 dollars as juniors to force me into a magical princess dress. And then raising 31,000 dollars as seniors to earn yourself a 10 a.m. rave that I guess was unforgettable, maybe. I'm not really sure how to feel about that one. Then you topped it all by raising over 70,000 dollars for the American Cancer Society during Relay for Life. You have started a tradition of giving standing ovations and supporting groups that aren't always recognized during our assemblies. You continue to show up to concerts, games, award ceremonies, and other things just to support each other, no matter what. And you've always shown kindness and empathy in the small ways. These are actually the most important ways. Like how you humbly responded to any of the accolades that I named earlier. Or the way that you popped into your teacher's online office hours just to say hi because you knew they needed it too. Or how you stopped on the way out of class to tell your teachers thank you. Or how you high five my team on the way into the building in the morning. And the kind messages many of you have sent me, your principal, just because. And ultimately, you've proved to be adaptable and tough. How? Because you are here. You have accomplished all these things. You did it. You had a high school experience that no one else, except the people sitting next to you, have ever experienced or will ever experience again. And you are, without a doubt, stronger and ready to take on anything that may come your way because of it. So here's my advice to you going forward. You keep doing you, and those around you will continue to benefit and want to be around you just like we have. There's no doubt in my mind that you have all the skill, that all the skills that you've been forced to learn that you'll take all the skills you've been forced to learn and be successful in whatever it is you choose to take on, and that you'll be the leaders for your generation and beyond. When things undoubtedly get unpredictable again, you'll crush it with confidence. Y'all have everything you need, and you improve, you've proven it to us time and time again. Myself, your teachers, our entire Chatfield community are indebted to you because of how you have bounced back, how you have led our school back, how you reinvigorated Charger Pride, how you stuck together when times got tough, and how you have been leaders when we needed you the most, and you always had fun doing, fun doing it. I want to thank you for all you've done to show our younger Chargers and future Chargers what Charger Pride and what Chatty for Life truly means. So here's a resounding thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. It is because of this that we, the Chatfield Senior High faculty, love you guys. It is because of how you've led, supported us, and our community, and how you've bounced back that I, I genuinely love and appreciate you guys so much, and I'm so incredibly proud of you. As for tonight, in this moment, lean in and enjoy the next couple of hours. Let it all sink in. After everything you've done for us, the least we can do is provide you all with a little ceremony in the most beautiful graduation venue in the entire world. It's the only venue fit for the Chatty class of 2023. Y'all are awesome. Y'all deserve this. Y'all are the best. I love you guys. Lean in and enjoy. Thanks, Kenny. I love you.
love you. At this time, I would like to welcome student body leaders Tabitha Durbin and Abby Graham to acknowledge our special guests for this evening. to recognize some very important guests. Parents of our graduates, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Grandparents of our graduates, please stand and be recognized. Board of Education, Miss Mary Parker. From the Central Administration of Jefferson County Schools, Mr. David Weiss, Chief of Schools. Mr. Scott Allensworth, Community Superintendent. Ms. Samantha Holman, Community Superintendent. From the schools in the Chatfield Senior Feeder area, Ms. Kara Taft, Bradford South. Mr. Ryan Fletcher, Bradford North. Ms. Karen Brown, Coronado Elementary. Ms. Molly Law, Deer Creek Middle. Mr. Tom Burns, Falcon Bluffs Middle. Ms. Carla Hankins, Mortensen Elementary. Mr. Jeremy Brasher, Schaefer Elementary. And Ms. Kim Lowe Nielsen, Stony Creek Elementary. And from Chatfield Senior High School, our principal, Mr. John Thanos. Ms. Corey Hitchens. Ms. Kim Miller. Mr. Jeff Stevens. Dr. Darren Whitby. Administrative Deans, Mr. Gay Buzinski. Ms. Jen Litsa. From our counseling department, Mr. Dave Byers. Ms. Samantha Dobson. Mr. Kevin Falk. Ms. Bree Garcia. And Mr. Nick Taylor. <laughs> Faculty Heralds, Mr. Justin Koontz. <laughs> Miss Rhonda Gunkel. <laughs> Mr. Matt Moore. <laughs> and Mr. Chris Moroni. Our faculty speakers tonight are Miss Amber Stowe, Mr. Nikin Swanicorn, and Mr. Dennis Spaldi. Okay. All right, please welcome our. 
our, the Chatfield Chantone singing home.
Rocks preparing to graduate, I'd like to reflect on the paths we took to get here. Almost immediately after we were born, we were defined by ourselves and by others. Before we attended school, we defined ourselves as singers, pirates, race car drivers, superheroes, and astronauts, enchanted by these futures we believed were possible. In elementary school, we were defined by how tall we were, how fast we could run, or our reading group, adding Olympic athlete, world record holder, and author to our list of future accomplishments. In middle school, we were defined by the clothes we wore, the social media we had, and the video games we played, prompting us to explore professions such as fashion designer, influencer, and computer programmer. And, when we entered high school in August four years ago, we were initially defined as freshmen, but also as athletes, intellectuals, band and theater kids, and numerous other stereotypes. Looking back, there are so many more substantial qualities to define us. Though we have been collectively defined by our actions, friend groups, sports titles, and accomplishments, as a class, we can be defined as full of school spirit, good-natured, and persistent. Although we experienced our first normal year of high school this year due to COVID, it's obvious that the class of 2023 is one of the most adaptable and accepting classes to have attended Chatfield. We're one of the only classes who have been able to keep the so-called privilege of a senior group chat all year. We consistently show up to support each other at sports, concerts, and events like Senior Ball or the Unified Musical. We start chants and standing ovations at our assemblies. We aren't afraid to join together. We might have been defined as checked out of high school these past few weeks, but we are determined and excited for what's next. Many of us are ready to move on, take the next step in our lives, and decide our futures, but a lot of us, even those who are excited, are also scared. College, the workforce, the military, a gap year, or whatever the next step looks like, leaves a lot of uncertainties. However, the future gives us the ability to redefine ourselves and choose who we want to be. Take me, for example. I could be defined several different ways. According to Chatfield's administration, student body president. According to my teachers, valedictorian and daughter of Miss Snowden. According to the yearbook, most studious. According to my friends, unbelievably busy and never able to hang out. And those are just the definitions I received in high school. Though these labels may be partially true, I'm not solely defined by them. Think about yourselves. What definitions have you received? I'm sure that, similarly to me, those definitions don't come close to describing your true identity. As we look towards the future, our definitions will continue with us. I am not only student body president, but also the preschool educated veterinarian, the elementary school recess baseball player, the middle school acclaimed author, and the high school nerd. And I am so much more to come. Similarly, the definitions you have received throughout your lives are a part of who you are and may travel with you into the future, but you are so much more. Today, as we walk across the stage and into our lives, we have the ability to add to our list of definitions, or even completely redefine ourselves, allowing us to continue to build our identities and our futures. We may still be the superheroes, Olympic athletes, fashion designers, intellectuals, and band kids, but we are also an infinite number of future definitions we have yet to discover. Graduation, as opposed to defining us, enables us to take the next step and add to who we are. Thank you. Please welcome to the podium, Ms. Corey Hitchens. At this time,
time, I would like to welcome, I would like to recognize the following graduates from the class of 2023. These students help to represent the class of 2023 and the entire student body of Chatfield Senior High School this year. At this time, I would like to acknowledge the following graduates. Class of 2023 member at large, Roman Counts. Tabitha Durbin. Vice President Mark Klein. Class of 2023 President Abby Graham. Your student body Vice President Tyler Reyes. And your student body President Katie Frobos. Please welcome Alliance Senior Tyler Reyes. My name is Tyler Reyes. The majority of students here know me as Student Body Vice President. One of my favorite things about this role is I had the privilege of emceeing or hosting our school assemblies this year. Once again, I have a microphone. Only this time, I'm not going to be screaming after every single event. This performance will have a little bit of a different pace. High school is filled with firsts. Our first car, first party, first off-campus lunch, maybe first sports game. A majority of these firsts began our freshman year. More memorable was homecoming week. I remember being confused, and I mean, come on, we all thought it was pretty lame to dress up as a frat boy or a disco girl. Yet, the majority of the rest of the school was proudly strolling around with scrunchies up their arms. As homecoming week continued, I remember the continuous bewilderment at other homecoming traditions like Fall Fest, and most monumental, the 2019 Homecoming Assembly. We can all remember the pounding of the bleachers as we walked in feeling isolated and having no clue what everyone was so excited about. As freshmen, we didn't know what it meant to be unified like we are now. Our community and togetherness that we have built since our freshman year are what has made us special. Our class was the first in recent times to experience a pandemic and recover from it. We all remember the excitement when we heard that our spring break had been extended to two weeks. <laughs> Little did we know that we would not be returning to Chatfield until we were sophomores. Cut off from convenient social interactions, I can only imagine the stress that our families also went through attempting to figure out what to do with us. Our class then had to figure out how to navigate online and in-person hybrid learning where we were in school for half the week and online for the other half. The only nice part about that is that we were done with school at 12 as opposed to 2.30. It was pretty hard to collaborate and experience the social parts of high school when the majority of the time we could only see each other's foreheads. Just 18 months ago, we were the first class to have a homecoming while still attempting to wear masks. I think we all rolled our eyes when we heard that masks were still required. Homecoming is sweaty and gross as it is without having to breathe and sweat into a cloth attached to your face. 16 months ago, yeah that's right, 16 months ago, we were the first class to experience the relief when the mask mandate was lifted. Something that four years ago would have sounded obscure to us. Finally, we had a normal senior year filled with events that actually felt like high school, starting out with senior sunrise. This sentimental and meaningful moment was a great way to start off the year and remind ourselves all that we have been through as a class. Homecoming was more memorable, mostly because the sweat on our faces wasn't due to a cloth mask on our face. We had senior ball. As a class, we set the standard for what senior ball should be. We established the charges, a less formal senior superlative with awards like most likely to order a kids meal, most likely to win a lottery ticket, but only win $5. Or one of my personal favorites, most likely to be late to graduation. Not only did we revive that tradition, our class was the first to partake in Seniors Got Talent. Participants competed in rounds of events, such as a talent show, finished the lyric, and a dance competition. Groups of friends were able to experience a fun and lighthearted competition together, and ultimately start a new tradition that will continue on long after we've graduated. More recently, we had prom. 
Unlike recent years, we had the privilege of being at the Children's Museum, where there was more to do than jumping around in a circle for three hours. Most memorable was the bubble room, and being able to experience what it was like to be a kid again. Now, we are all here gathered at graduation, moments away from moving on to new and exciting firsts. That could include your first college party or sports game, whether that be buying our first house. Wow, think about that for a moment. Starting our first job, whatever that may be, class of 2023, embrace these first. Thank you. 23 seniors performing the call. in the class of 2023. The following students have maintained a cumulative weighted GPA where they are in the top 10% of this year's graduating class of 2023. These students are recognized as distinguished scholars and are wearing a silver honor sash signifying them as, an, as, as a distinguished scholar. The academic achievement is to be commended and recognized. Please stand as your name is called. Tegan Arnott, Montana State University, studying biology, biological sciences and genetics. Daniel Bailey, Colorado School of Mines, studying chemical engineering. Mariah 
Barrett, University of Denver, studying social work. Brayden Bogan, University of Denver, studying criminology and biology. Matthew Bowman, Amika Bashaw, Co Colorado State University, studying bio biochemical engineering. Julia Copley, University of Denver, studying neuroscience. Max Craig, San Diego State University, studying com computer engineering. Tristan Davin, University of Virginia, studying commerce. Sienna Fisher, University of Colorado Boulder, studying bi biomedical engineering. Chloe Glayback, Michigan State University, studying neuroscience on a pre-med track through the Honors College and skating on the collegiate synchronized figure skating team. Julia Hamilton, University of Central Florida, studying kinesiology. Ada Kersey, University of Montana, studying art education. Alexia Cub, and theater. Jacob LaFour, University of Michigan, studying physics. Missy Lachizo, New York University, studying languages, anthropology, and writing. Robin Linger, University of California, Santa Barbara, studying biology. North Carolina State University, studying biology and neurosciences. Daniel Labello, Massachusetts Institute of Technology, studying physics. Riley Lynch, University of Northern Colorado, studying K-12 special education.
at the Colorado State University. Please welcome to the podium Ms. Corey Hitchens and Mr. John Thanos. At this time, we would like to recognize our salutatorians. The salutatorians for the class of 2023 will be recognized now and receive a medal from Mr. John Thanos. Alicia Catt, attending CU Boulder, studying international affairs. <laughs> Abigail Graham, attending Chapman University, studying business administration. Ethan Kirshner attending Colorado College and studying English. <laughs> Preston Lux attending ACC and studying statistics. <laughs> Vivian Nguyen attending the University of Denver and studying pre-med and psychology. Gavin Petruzzi, attending C. Boulder and studying computer science. And Catherine Tron, attending CU Denver, undeclared and hoping to study biological sciences with the intention of pursuing, pursuing a physician's assistant career. At this time, we would like to recognize our valedictorians for the class of 2023, who will also receive a medal from Mr. John Thanos. Katie Frobos will be attending Cara College and studying environmental science. And Daniel Smith will be attending Vassar. And at this time, please welcome valedictorian Daniel Smith to the stage to give the valedictorian address. My name is Daniel Smith. I know, I know. Very unique name. I play tennis, if that helps. Oh, shoot. There were two other Daniels on boys' varsity tennis this year. Okay, well, I was also in AP Literature class. No, wait. They were both in that class, too. Okay, okay. Let's just go by my last name. Wait, there is an entire row of Smiths back there. Okay, well, whatever. I'm the only Daniel and the only Smith on stage currently giving a speech. Now that we've finally established who I am, realize it truly doesn't matter. What does matter is that we all just graduated high school. You may not remember the speech. Instead, you will remember this moment, this feeling. At one point in our lives, we were all excited to graduate elementary school. We gathered in the seemingly huge middle school, our next step in life. I do not remember the speech. I remember being terrified, yet thrilled. At one point in our lives, we were all excited to graduate middle school. We gathered in the seemingly ginormous high school, our next step in life. I do not remember the speech. I remember being frightened, yet exhilarated. At this point in our lives, we are all excited to graduate high school. We're gathered here at Red Rocks facing a seemingly infinite world, our next step in life. Most of us won't remember the speech, but all of us will remember this feeling. At one point in our lives, we learned how to bike. Initially, we had training wheels and parents walking by our sides. Eventually, those parents stood with us at the top of a daunting hill. They let go as we rode without training wheels, without them, for the first time. Some of us may have whizzed safely down, and, well, some of us may have completely wiped out crashing into a light post. That moment was scary yet exciting. <laughs> my bad, guys, my bad. I'm just... Our whole lives, we have had training wheels, someone holding our hand as we have grown into the individuals we are today. And today, we are being let go for the first time. We choose where we want to go. We choose what we want to become. And we have to face our own problems. 
Like, who thought that inflation would affect gas prices that much? I really guess they have a seniors take economics for a reason. And that's just one complexity in our new lives as we face the vast world in front of us. Some people already know what they wish to do. I know people pursuing aerospace engineering, collegiate swimming, environmental science, fine arts, taking a gap year in Africa, joining the military, and much more. Meanwhile, well, some of us have no clue what we want to do. Yet, regardless, it's scary and exciting. Today at Red Rocks, we may be facing that daunting world, but as I'm sure many of you have experienced, this is a place to escape that world and celebrate. So we should celebrate, but we must acknowledge that it hasn't been easy getting here. High school brought some challenges. We had to endure 7 a.m. Zoom calls. We had to figure out the maze the school became with arrows directing, uh, well, a bunch of unrecognizable students in masks through the halls. On a more serious note, I cannot speak for everyone, but I've had days where I did not feel like getting out of bed. I've had days where I felt alone, where I wasn't sure if happiness was possible. Throughout our lives, we will all have those feelings. But we can't let that stop us from pursuing everything we've grown to love. We are on top of that daunting hill, ready to ride it down on our own. We may crash as we manage having full control for the first time. But if we fall, we'll get back up. And those people that let us go will always be behind us, encouraging us to find our path. That's what happened when I hit the light post. My parents helped me to my feet, and I continued facing the hill on my own, yet not alone. We are here looking at a world that is now ours to conquer. That is something to celebrate. We survived elementary, middle, and high school, as well as... I'm a mess, guys. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> We survived elementary, middle, and high school, as well as persisted through all those bad moments thanks to the people holding us on our bikes as we grow into the people we are today. Now it's time to thank whoever helped you through the last 17 or 18 years of your life to get here today. I'll keep this relatively brief, as I don't want many of you falling asleep as you do in class. But it could be your peers for always making you laugh even on the worst days. Thank you, Preston Lux. For being by your side despite any differences in friend group drama that high school brings. Thank you, Kimball Ward. For always having someone to text about those challenges that high school brings, even at 2 a.m. Thank you, Daniel Labello. It could be your teachers for remembering your name and saying hello, making you smile even on the worst days. Thank you, Mr. Moroni. For making class educational yet lively and fun. Thank you, Mr. Moore. And, and shout out to Matthew Moore for having the best music preference of any teacher. No, 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 not any teacher, any adult out there. It could be your coaches for understanding and helping you through the mental difficulties and, well, slight anger issues that sports bring. Thank you, Coach Devin Ventrek. It could be your family members for being a mentor, a supportive sibling, or a reliable friend. Thank you, Natalia. Or for loving you during your lowest moments and constantly encouraging you to be the best person you can be. Thank you, Mom and Dad. I challenge all of you to stop by after this ceremony, send a text, or stop by at a graduation party, or just do something to highlight your appreciation for everyone who helped you 
get to a point where you can celebrate with us today. We all deserve to be here at Red Rocks, but afterwards, when we leave, we are being let go from the top of the hill into the daunting world. We have finally outgrown the training wheels we had guiding us. We have persisted through the bad moments and made great ones. Now it's time to survive and thrive on our own, yet not alone. You may not remember the speech, nor my name, but as I finish speaking today, I would encourage every one of you to think about and embrace what this feeling is for you. Live it, cherish it, enjoy it. What you want to accomplish in this world, ponder it, scheme it, go out there and do it. Who helped you get here? Appreciate them, recognize them, thank them. And as Troy Bolton once said, we're all in this together. Once a charger, always a charger. Thank you.
Amber Stowe and Mr. Nikin Swanicorn presenting our Courage Award. Good evening, family, staff, and graduates. It is such an honor to be standing up here in this world-renowned venue, addressing such a wonderful class. <laughs> to all the graduates, Ms. Stowe and I would like to extend our personal congratulations and love to you all, as you all have made such an impact on us both. <laughs> in particular, though, we're here because there is one amazing graduate amongst you who deserves special recognition. Every year, the staff nominates and awards one senior the Chatfield Courage Award. This award is given to a senior at graduation who has exemplified a spirit of perseverance and resilience through a life-threatening illness or extreme physical or mental challenge. We all know the path of school has multiple ups and downs, especially during the last four years. This individual tackled these challenges while fighting craniopharyngioma, a rare type of benign brain tumor that can have significant impacts on multiple areas. These range from daily headaches, shots, continual MRIs, and innumerable trips to the doctor, to a suppressed immune system, interrupted growth patterns, risky surgeries, and radiation treatments. In spite of all these challenges that he and his family face, this graduate chose kindness, a positive outlook, hard work, communication, and dedication, ultimately becoming a role model and earning deep respect from students and staff alike. When I first met this graduate, he was just a little kid showing up with his sister at conferences. She said to him, one day you'll have Swanee for econ. He just sat there and smiled and nodded as he still does today. Then while he was doing his Chatfield tour as a freshman, he stopped me and asked whether I remembered him because he was going to have my class one day as a senior. I told him I was looking forward to it. Then last year, before he was done with his junior year, he greeted me again in the hallway and said, Mr. Swanee, I think I'll get you next year. We shared a smile and a handshake. Then this last semester, on the first day of econ, as I was taking attendance, I called his name and he looked up and smiled with that amazingly charming smile. Just like the one we saw from that little boy years ago at conferences. But this time, it came with an almost, I told you so smirk. And he confidently just said, finally. I didn't get to meet this graduate until this year in humanities English class. What struck me immediately was a willing smile and constant eye contact. Throughout the year, I was amazed at his continual courageous vulnerability, always willing to listen to others, quick to forgive, someone who would seek out conversations and learning, all while working so diligently on both school and life realities. As the year progressed and I learned more and more, I was amazed by the amount of obstacles and losses this graduate had faced and overcome. In addition to a serious health fight, we cried together as yet another family member passed away this spring. The love this person holds for people is deep, loyal, and meaningful. And I know your loved ones, unable to be here today, are so incredibly proud of you for all of you fought for during your life. One of the concepts we cover in economics is externalities, a concept where something or someone is affected by an outside and uncontrollable force. How we deal with this externality is our choice, and those choices we make can define our utility or happiness in life. This year's recipient's sister shared a story with me how the age of four, when they were at the movies, he would love it when everyone was laughing at the same time. 
This got him pretty riled up and he would start to giggle. He then started laughing and giggling on his own and at random times during the movie, even when it was silent. His laugh was so infectious that slowly everyone around him started cracking up as well. This young man has always chosen happiness. Even through all the procedures, the treatments, and the tragic loss of his father, this young man still shows up and shows out every day. When others may use this externality as an excuse, this year's Courage Award recipient uses it as a catalyst to bring the best of humanity wherever he goes and to whomever he comes across. Whether it be at the movies, in school, or going through all his treatments and appointments, his happiness and laughter comes through and always fills a room with joy. That energy truly speaks to his personality and perseverance in the face of serious externalities from the past, the present, and even into the future. I wish we all could choose joy in the face of adversity as well as he does. These externalities carry over quickly to many staff and the lives he has impacted. I sat with Miss Dobson, a tear in her eye and an open heart, as she praised his humility and gratitude, how she hopes her own kids have those qualities, and how she enjoyed every conversation they had. Miss Fisher immediately emailed and shared how in the middle of last year, when it was discovered that the tumor had grown and radiation was required regularly again, this graduate still walked to school for a perseverance award chose to contribute in class and stayed kind, measured, and calm as students around him discussed fights with friends while he sat fighting for his life. Miss Barb fondly remembered laughing through multiple COVID Zoom office hours, considering life ideas along with growing as a writer, and they had an infectious positive attitude and thankfulness, even in the face of serious stitches and struggles. Tyson's joy and steadfastness has struck in more hearts than can be counted. As you move on and leave the classrooms, halls, and grounds of Chatfield, know that you, my man, have blessed all of us with joy, perseverance, teamwork, integrity, a constant and unshakable positive attitude, great determination in the face of adversity, humility, and an unforgettable smile. We will miss you dearly. I cannot wish you anything but the best. Not only in these next steps, but all your days to come. I'll forever remember the teddy bear hug you gave me the first time you called me Mom's Doe. And you better check back with us from time to time to give updates. We are so incredibly awed by your ability to keep standing back up in the fight. And not just because you get back up, but because you stay true to yourself. This amazing person who loves others and encourages this world just through who you are. You are world class in our heart, and we cannot wait until the creativity and perseverance that you have make you a celebrated artist worldwide. Amen. He already ended up in the top 10 for two consecutive years in the Fierce Never Summer Industry Snowboard Design Competition. I mean, seriously, people, check this out. This is just one of his award-winning designs. He's headed next year to Red Rocks to earn his associates in studio arts and continue his passion in creating inspiring art pieces. I'm serious, people. You might want to start getting in on the ground floor, okay? Tyson, where's the bidding starting, man? <laughs> in closure, I have one last lesson for you, man. You see, T, you were wrong. In all this time that you said you couldn't wait to have me as a teacher. It was me and all of us who finally were able to have you in this amazing class and in all our classes. You've been a true life gift to us all. Thank you for sharing your heart. It has truly been my privilege, and now it is also our honor to award the Courage Award to Mr. Tyson Tafoya.
Booty Address. My name is Dennis Smalley and I have the honor to speak. <laughs> I, have, <laughs> I have the honor to speak with you, the families, friends, and community of the graduating class of 2023. First to the families, thank you for trusting us with what is most dearest to you. Your children's character and kindness, confidence and courage stems from you. Their pursuits are our passions. To any and all faculty of the education system, from custodians, counselors, and coaches, administration, to educators, I hope my words do justice. I may be speaking on the stage, but it is the efforts and dedication of preschool, elementary, middle, and high schools that provide a place and environment for children to grow in. Confucius said, if your plan is for one year, plant rice. If your plan is for 10 years, plant trees. If your plan is for 100 years, educate children. We don't always get to see the fruits of our labor, but there is no other group I would rather plan with. For those of you who are retiring after a career of caring for others' children, there are no other greater words I can offer than thank you. And I hope my own children are so lucky to have people to inspire them like you. Now before I go any further, there is a worry by some that keeping this speech to a limited amount of time is near impossible for me. They were right to think so, <laughs> but that's not my fault. I'm an inquisitive conversationalist. So many of my conversations with you began in hallways to next classes. Some of them even originated there. How can you capture the depth, the complexity, and the beauty of each individual who is here before me? The only solution is a timer. I did it so many times during philosophy class to make sure that we didn't go too far down the rabbit hole. I don't want to lie to you and say that it has ever worked, but this time, I think it might, maybe, possibly. And now on to you, the graduating class of 2023. What a story you all have written to get here. I know it wasn't easy, but it has been worth it. And like the thousands of threads it takes to make a tapestry, you all have woven your stories together to this moment. What is so enchanting is all of your stories are incredibly unique. Your story, like all great stories, have an element of love. A love for learning. I'm not saying you love all learning, but there is learning that you love. And the beautiful thing is it comes so naturally to us. Be it in the expression of art, the beauty of numbers, the exploration of science, or learning about us, each other, our culture, our past, and our future. Embrace this love and continue to realize that you are worth it, worth the energy, the time, the patience, the struggle it has taken to live a passionate life. This is not a fact that I'm teaching you. It is one that I've learned from all of your stories. Beyond your love of learning, you have the story of survival and support, an ability to teach and inspire others through your actions. I know this because I have witnessed you survive through two pandemics during your high school years. COVID and senioritis. <laughs> Through COVID, you adapted to online, hybrid, and in-person classes. You balanced multiple class loads, self-directed learning, shifting grading scales, expectations between classes, cancellation of events, balancing jobs and sports, college level courses, home life, and homework. You did more than survive all this. You supported families and friends through all this. Somehow you all managed to go from the soul and silent individuals behind a screen to the magnetic pole of this community when we all needed you the most. The beautiful moral of your story is how a lot of little choices can create great change. In a time of need, you chose to act. In a time of struggle, you chose to try. You may have been told by others or even yourself that you did it because you had to. A truer telling of the story is that you chose to. Don't take that away from yourself. Always choose to believe in yourself. 
Be the hero in your own story and give yourself permission to be great. As you look around today, you are surrounded by hundreds of people, some spreading from multiple generations. Some came before you and some after. But every person here, myself included, has gotten to where we are in life, not only because of our choices, but because of help from our community. So when you see each other, say hello. And when you ask, how are you, listen. And when you can, say thank you. Small kindnesses go such a long way. Reach back for the hand behind you and pull them up as so many others have in the past for you. Community is more than a word in your story. It is the tapestry, the place where all of our stories come together. For you, there are so many more pages left to write, and no one will write them for, except for you. So choose to live your life to the fullest. Keep supporting each other. Keep learning. Keep loving. Because you all are worth it. Thank you. Now please welcome to the podium Mr. John Thanos, Mr. David Weiss, and Ms. Mary Parker so that you guys can have this stage. You guys ready? Yeah. Distinguished guests, staff, parents, and friends, on behalf of Chaffield Senior High, I certify that the members of the class of 2023 seated before you have met the requirements for graduation as specified by Jefferson County Schools. Therefore, Mr. David Weiss and Ms. Mary Parker, I present to you the 37th graduating class of Chatfield Senior High and recommend that they be awarded their diplomas. Thank you, Mr. Thanos. I've heard a number of students speak and perform, and I've heard about the many wonderful accomplishments that members of this Chatfield Senior High School class of 2023 have done. I'm very impressed with the young adults that sit before me today. Based upon the recommendation of Mr. John Thanos, and on behalf of Jefferson County Schools, I, David Weiss, hereby recommend that these students before me be awarded their high school diplomas. All right, you convince me. Upon recommendation of the faculty, principal, and chief of schools, I, Mary Parker, accept the class of 2023 for award of their diplomas on behalf of the Board of Education of Jefferson County Schools. Please proceed with the ceremony. We thank you in advance for recognizing that this is a formal ceremony, and we ask that as graduates' names are read, if everyone please refrain from any activities that would distract from the recognition of each and every one of our graduates' deserves. Let's do this.
Chase Robert Benning. Taylor Catherine Bentley. Molly K. Bergman. Joanna Bernal Alonzo. Riker Jeffrey Blue. Braden Riley Bogut. Baden Henry Bowling. Tristan James Bolt. Matthew Allen Bowman. Evelyn Jane Brandt. Cameron Marie Bremer. Eileen Adele Briggs. Audrey Jane Briggs. Mallory Reed Brinker. Timothy Ardion Brown. James Allen Bruxport. Zach Scott Aiden Bryan. Emily Kaylin. Bullens. Christopher Kevin Berger. Hope Elizabeth Burns. Amika Ray Bashal. Avery Christine James Byerly. Ella Marie James Byerly. Jacob David Byerly.
Shayla Grace Clark. Maya Marie Clemenson. Sierra Ariana Cook. Lucas John Cooper. Emmy Brielle Coquet. Blake McKinley Cowgill. Dale Lee. Alton Craig Ella Grace Cromwell Nathaniel Mattis Cunningham Vaughn Stephen Swift Elizabeth Ann DeHennens. <laughs> Teresa Grace De Silva. Hunter James Dale. Wyatt Hunter Steele. Blake Gregory Dameron. Tristan Marcus Davin. Emma Elizabeth Decker. Aspen Peyton Delisle. Edward DeRosa. Jonaki Sandeep Desai. Quinn Alexander Dickens. Grant Robert Deepman. Charisma Jean Dyorkov. <laughs> Ashlyn Alette Donhow. <laughs> Trenton Heath Doty.
Donovan Thomas Doyle. Grace Judith Dozer. William David Dumler. George Harry Durant. Francesca Durbin. Elise Marie Duty. Nicholas Charles Duty. Kyla Ray Eager. Sophia May Eager. Edwards, Samuel Francis Epps, Alexis Victoria Phelan, Richard James Fanning. Elizabeth Fisher. <laughs> Kyla Marie Flores. <laughs> Riley Ann Forsberg. <laughs> Maximus Avery Forte. Lucas James Franzel. Ella Rose Free. Davis Anthony Friedman. Adia Noel Friesen. Logan Isaac Fear Alexandria Marie Fulton James Gaborio. Hallie Sage Gall. William Randall J. Gallegos Lafton. Jordan Reese Gansler. Benjamin Alize Garcia. Lila Danielle Garcia. Cooper Wayne Gothier. Scott Zadib Gaten. Tara Ann Gellner. Tessa Lee Gellner. Janessa Elaine George. Finn Ronan Gilbert. Chloe Samantha 
playback. <laughs> Sophia Renee Glinsky. <laughs> Angela Gabriela Gonzalez John. Dylan Nicholas Grace Mitchell. Andrew James Bragg. Abigail Rose Graham. Abigail O'Hanlon Grisham. Tyler Michael Grove. Kaylin Ann Gwill. Jocelyn Lisette Gutierrez de Emily Elaine Johnson. 
Lee Johnson. Jacqueline Rose Johnson. Afton Marie Jones. Brianna Arlene John Cognac. Matthew Frank Jost. Roman Christian Kautz. Evan Joseph K. Shelby Marie Keggy Peraza. Hannah Lindsay Kelly. Samuel Robert Kemmer. Ethan Robert Kempen. Emerson Renee Kirscher. Ada Grace Kersey. Rachel Nicole Kentz. Ryder Owen Kilber. Mason Allen Kindon. Sierra Janae King. Vincent James King. Aiden James Kippen. Ethan Alexander Kirschner. Maxwell Kitchen. Andrew James Kleinfelter. Andrew James Kobelin. Yeah, Andrew! Yvonne Kokomar. <laughs> Michaela Ann Kerner. <laughs> Landon Robert Crumlin. <laughs> Allison Rose Kretschmar. Daniel Dijon Crocious. <laughs> Alexia Michelle Cub. <laughs> Jacob Thomas LaFord. Lazarus. 
Simona Avery Lazarus. Abigail Elizabeth Nadine Levitha. Mary Francesca the Chisa. Lillian Bell Benson. Brooklyn Ray Levine.
Isabella Bryn Metzger. Morgan Amber Minier. Kyla Isabella Myers. Sailor Ann Meese. Haley Nicole Mikeworth. Christian Katadin Miller. Bennett Sean Minahan Plummering. Elizabeth Montano. Maddox Michael Moreno. Alexia Christine Morrison. Jaja Isabella Mueller. Courtney Lillian Murray. Michael Logan Murray. Parker James Murrow. Matthew Robert Usage. Marissa Grace Myers. Nathan Dean Nagel. Griffin Peter Nash. Jean Nash Aiden Patrick Naughton Avery Grace Navy Chase Caldwell Navy Vivian Tong Nguyen. Isabel Sofia Nieves. Kendall Elaine Norby.
Kayla Lucas Palmer. Kaylin Marie Palmer. Jacob Andrew Panning. Kaylee Ann Parkin. Jacqueline Maria Pellegrini. William Petruzzi. Veronica Ellen Pixley. Lauren Danae Green. Charlie Ann Prots. Dawson James Hogan. Allison Rebecca Quaid. Catherine Quaid. <laughs> Ashlyn Naya Reed. Addison May Reiner. Joshua Mitchell Reisinger. Matthew Rendon. <laughs> Ashlyn Elizabeth Rex. <laughs> Tyler Jason Reyes. <laughs> Riley K. Ridpath. Abigail Hope Robinson. Kaylin Robinson. Zachary Edward Robinson. Satan James Rock. Avery Ray Roman. Hunter Romero. Ethan Daniel Rose. Abraham Ruben. Cole Franklin Royal. Joshua Anthony Rueda. Shay Dudley. Isabella Marie Rush. <laughs> Abigail Mary Russell.
Jacob Christopher Wiskowski. Imran Sadaka. Cameron Charles Sager. Devin Joseph Salas. Lewis Eduardo Samor. Jackson Douglas Samuels. Theodore Arnold Senna. Jack David Shoemaker. Jessica Riley Schroeder. Mitchell Gabriel Eugene Schroeder. Frankie Ann Schuler. William Gerhard Schultz. Nathan Patrick Scott. Ollie Kaylin Shannon. Samantha K. Shaver. Titus Joseph Shepherd. Carson Van Sherrill. Keaton Connor Shields. Logan Riley Shipman. Tyler Cecil Sycock. Ethan John Skirdla. Ashlyn May Slough. James Smallfoot. Lauren Elizabeth Smiley. Connor Gregory Smith. Lucas Smith. Mackenzie Elizabeth Smith. Alexandria Aspen Suarez. Jason James Spahoski. Dylan Reese Spire. Alexander Dalton Squire. Edie Elizabeth Stacy.
Jackson Joseph Starr. Joshua Robert Stickland. <laughs> Noah Wayne Stuckler. <laughs> James Martin Sedona. <laughs> Lillian Marie Wenneth. Tyson Joseph Safoya. <laughs> Lucas Justin Sarah. <laughs> Ty Joshua Taylor. Caitlin Irene Teagan. Marissa Victoria Sennett. Sophie Rose Testerman. Cade Peter Thomas. Wade Harrison Thomas. Isabella Nicole Thompson. Kimball, John. 
Sky Wathen. Harley Elizabeth Watkins. Maya Renee Weatherford. Lauren Eileen Webb. Jack Christian Weber. Macy Elizabeth Weber. Lucas Jonathan Weiler. <laughs> Ashley Caitlin Wells. Isabella Jalen West. Samantha Mary Waymiller. Ian Michael White. Shrinson Christopher White. Brooke Wyckoff. Joshua Allen Wilkin. Shelby Logan Woodyard. Lena Catherine Hutton. Alex David Worcester. Madison Reese Winder. Gwyneth Grace Yider. Liam Thomas Yider. Aaron Zinovich. Before we take our last photo as a class and turn our tassels, let's give it up for Evelyn, Lucas, and Ellie singing Good Old Days.